Keep It Simple Phone Tech here with an installment in the How To series and we're going to talk about how to get your phone undisabled. A disclaimer before we begin this video, please keep in mind that you're going to hear me say this over and over again in the video also, but if you do not have a backup through either iCloud, which iCloud if you're not familiar with, that requires a Wi-Fi connection you can back up your phone through iCloud in your phone settings. So if you don't have a if you don't have a backup through iCloud and you would know if you would have done it because you would have set it up to make sure that it would be backed up for you automatically. Or if you've never connected your phone to iTunes before and have done an iTunes backup because that's an alternative. Apple has two ways you can back your phone up. I mean it's it's awesome the way that they have it set up but you have to make the effort to do it. Um, iTunes is the other method. You connect your phone to iTunes. You're signing the iTunes with your Apple ID. You go through the prompts of actually backing your phone up, so some people prefer to do it that way. So if you don't have a backup by either of those two methods, you're going to lose your information. So please just keep that in mind, but at the same time, you're going to be able to get access to your phone again. So there's an upside to it. So. Please keep that in mind before we continue with this video. So if you're seeing this message, then you would have forgotten your iPhone passcode. Or maybe you're thinking you're putting in the correct passcode, but it's just not going through. So you get five tries initially to put in your passcode. And then if you get it wrong the sixth time, then you'll see the iPhone is disabled message. And it'll start out at try again in one minute then if you miss it again try again in five minutes if you miss it again try it again in 15 minutes and then I think you basically get from the time you first get locked out and it says try again in one minute you'll get 10 tries and after that 10th time if you get it wrong from there you're gonna be locked out completely so when you're locked out completely what do you do well you have a couple of options to get your phone unlocked but it may or may not be convenient depending on what resources that you have what I'm going to show you in this video is one of those options and that is how to connect your phone to iTunes using either your PC or your laptop I'm not going to wait for this time frame here I just want to show you here for this video how to do this step here as far as unlocking your phone through iTunes all right, first thing we're going to need is your PC or your laptop, and you're going to need the iTunes program. And if you have the iTunes program already on your computer or laptop, your PC or laptop, you're going to see this icon here. So you already have it downloaded and installed. If you don't already have iTunes installed, then you'll want to go to iTunes.com. So open up your internet browser and type in iTunes.com. From here you'll get a screen that looks something like this and you're going to, going to click on where it says download in blue in the upper right, not quite the corner there, but you'll see that where it says download. Right, and from there where it says download now, you'll click on that next. Of course you can choose those two little check marks where if you want uh, the iTunes updates or it wouldn't be kept up to date about other Apple products. Since I already have the program on my computer, from there, basically you're just downloading and installing. So hopefully you're familiar with that process, but if not, just follow the prompts. So you'll see it. It's going to take you through the steps. Of course, you're going to want to have an internet connection also. I didn't mention that here in the beginning, but you, you have to have a high-speed internet connection in order to be able to complete this step here also in unlocking your phone when it's disabled. So please keep that in mind. You have to have a high-speed internet connection as well as the iTunes program installed on your computer. All right, once you have the program downloaded and installed, if it's the first time, and since it, it would be the first time actually, since you've downloaded and installed it, you should get some sort of prompt asking for your Apple ID. Now this, this is a part that stumps a lot of my customers because not only will they forget their passcode, but then they won't know anything about their Apple ID. So hopefully you have that information. If you do not, there's a specific website. It is iforgot.apple.com. And you can 
follow those steps to hopefully retrieve your either your Apple ID or your password for your Apple ID. But you'll want to have the same Apple ID you're going to be signing in that is with the same Apple ID to iTunes as what is on the phone that you are trying to unlock. Now if you already had the iTunes program on your computer like I did, you're already signed in. And so you're just going to go right to this screen here. Like when you open up the iTunes program, it's just going to take you to, well, one of these screens within iTunes. It's going to open up the program. It's not going to ask you for your Apple ID. All right, next step, we're going to power off the iPhone completely. That's right, we're going to power it off completely. So let's go ahead, press and hold the power button. Slide to power off. Wait about 10 or 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, it'll be off completely. Next, take your USB lightning cable that Apple provided you. Plug into the charging port. And then plug into any open USB port on your PC. And mine is kind of, my PC is kind of buried underneath my desk, so I'm down here, but this is one open port that I can easily access, so go ahead and plug in that end. Now, oddly enough, sometimes what will happen when you first plug it in is that your iPhone will automatically turn back on. That's what happened in this case for me. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off again if your phone turns back on, because, again, my phone just automatically turned on and brought me back to this iPhone is disabled screen. If your phone is turned off, great. But otherwise, let me turn this off again. Okay. You may also see a little pop-up message when you first connect your phone to your computer uh, within the iTunes program, not on your phone, but on the iTunes program, and it'll say something like, your phone has been locked out completely, etc., uh, etc. Et so just go ahead and ignore that message because... We already know that your phone is locked out, and that's why we're doing these steps. Okay, so we have our iPhone connected to our PC. We have the iTunes program we're signed into with our Apple ID. And we have our iPhone turned off. In fact, let's just double check it. I'll press on the home button, and it's definitely turned off. All right, so here's what we do now. We're going to press and hold the home button. Now we're going to hold the home button until we see something special on the screen here. And then we'll also see something on our PC screen. While we're holding the home button, we're going to press and hold the power button. And let's just hold them both. What we're hoping to see on the phone is a little iTunes symbol with a little lightning cable symbol. So we'll keep holding it. So you can see it takes a little while. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. You can let go of those two buttons. And this is a screen that you should see here on iTunes, on your PC or laptop now. Let's put that in focus. In a pop-up message, it talks about we see an iPhone that requires to be updated or restore. And so you just want to go ahead and click on restore. And there's a little pop-up message. Now, please keep in mind, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but if you did not have your phone backed up before, then you're going to lose your information. So if you never con uh, backed up your contacts, backed up your pictures, etc., all that's going to be erased. But the good news is, is that you'll be able to use your phone again. We'll have a how-to video on that topic as far as how to back those things up on your iPhone. But in the meantime... Let's go ahead and restore and update. Apparently my phone needs an update also. So that's how come I have both options. You may just have the uh, restore option. But that's what we're looking for, is to restore the phone. I'll go ahead and click next. You may not get this, but apparently I missed an update on my phone here. So let's go ahead and agree. Okay, from here we're just waiting. So this is what I'm seeing on the screen right now. 
just says iTunes downloading the software for this iPhone and restore once the download is complete. That could take a while, so just be prepared for that. And just to show you what you'll see on the iPhone, well, really not much. Same thing we looked at before when we initially got into this recovery mode. In the upper right corner of the iTunes program, that looks like about the only indication that something's going on. I hope you caught that because it disappeared. It was a little circle going around and around showing like there's something going on. And then you can see at the top there in the middle, it talks about extracting software. So you'll know that there's something going on at least anyways. Just add this step here because it happened to pop up on my computer. If you see anything like this, the iPhone could not be restored, an unknown error, and it gives you an error code. Click on more info. It's going to tell you what's going on. In my case, I did not have the latest version of iTunes. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and install that right now. And then we'll be able to complete this process. Otherwise, if you have the latest, if you have the latest iTunes, you're not going to run into this problem. In case you do run into the problem, that same error message that I got, which in my case was error message number 14. If you want to update iTunes, of course have the iTunes program open and signed in to it. Click on help. Click on check for updates. And you'll get that pop up there. And just click on download iTunes and go from there. All right, so while that is installing, I do apologize for that, but maybe it'll help folks at least that run into this same problem as they're trying to go through the process of restoring their iPhone. We're going to let this do its thing. I think we're going to have to restart my computer once it's done, so it's going to take a little while. What I'm going to do is attempt to pick up the video from where we left off, because where we left off, the phone was supposed to be restoring the operating system that's what it was doing here in case I didn't mention that or you didn't catch on to it so it was restoring iOS to the latest version or to the version that was on your phone I said the latest version just in case there's a newer version that came out and you didn't update it yet your phone is going to automatically install that also but that said we'll pick it back up at the point where the phone is starting to restore iOS and we'll see what happens after that point all right, so we're picking up from where we left off earlier in the restore process. Now we're actually in successfully getting the restore process going. So you will see this on your phone. It'll automatically turn on. And you'll see this kind of progress meter going across there. While on your computer screen, you'll see it say in the iTunes program in the top and in the middle, restoring iPhone software. So you'll know what's going on. If all goes smoothly, your phone is unlocked once you see this screen because you're just back to the welcome screen now just like it's the first time that you started your phone up, the first time you powered it on, the first time you, you got it and you started using it. From here you can either detach your phone and just complete the setup process or if you prefer and really you would maybe just want to do this if you know that you have an iTunes backup that you can restore to your phone you can go to iTunes and complete the process go through iTunes and complete the process as an alternative now again I stress alternative instead of going through the steps on the phone directly you can also go through iTunes to complete your setup process so when you come to the screen you will first sign into iTunes. You'll be prompted to do so by using your Apple ID and you'll see a screen that will say something like activate your iPhone. This is if you choose to do this through iTunes. Uh, you don't have to, but if you do, your phone stays connected to your PC. You sign in with your Apple ID. You'll come to this screen here and you'll have the option to either set up as a new iPhone as you see there or if you have a backup that you can use from your iPhone you can restore that backup 